Okay, so one of the things we'll do almost constantly in this class is ask for input. Um, there are a lot of different ways we can go at learning a programming language. Um, we can read from a file, we can read from other places, but I like taking user input. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more of an interactive feel. So uh, you'll see a lot of times the examples I give and the questions I ask, the projects I give, start with getting some basic input from the user. So we'll get input through the keyboard because that's the simplest way to do it. Um, and what we want to do is we want to accept input from a user and write it to a variable. So remember I said we, we need to be focused on pseudocode and planning, so here's what we're gonna accomplish. We wanna display a message on the screen. We're gonna accept input from the user. And then we're gonna assign variable, and then we're going to print the variable. All right. So those are the things we're going to try to accomplish. I've pseudocoded out my program. The great thing about this is now that I've pseudocoded it out, I've actually got all of my comments for my program. Right? So I know printing the variable is one thing that'll happen and uh, that this displaying a message stuff will be something else. Uh, remember, whenever you're writing programs for me, you always write comments that explain what the code does. Again, this is my way of ensuring that you're not just copying code that you find on the internet um, or that I've posted, but that you actually have at least some understanding of the way the code functions. So here are my comments they're gonna be the same thing I'm gonna need for what I'm actually gonna do. So uh, I know I'm gonna display a message on the screen, so we're just gonna do this in pieces. So I'm gonna say, um, enter your name. That's gonna be my message, right? Now, in order to get that out on the screen, I'm gonna use the input function. So it's actually gonna look like this. Input, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then everything inside those quotes is my constant, my string constant. And um, so that's what's gonna show up on the screen. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and print that and see what happens. Let's go ahead and hit run. And you can see, enter your name shows up. Of course, it won't take anything um, because there's nothing else happening. But I've tested my code, it works. That's really important for beginning programmers. Test your code like every change you make. Uh, and you know, so many people don't believe me till they start writing 30, 40, 50 lines of code and then they can't find the problem and it takes hours and hours and hours to find the problem that was on the very first line. Um, happens to all of us. So print often, I mean run often, make sure things work. Uh, all right, so we need a variable. So we're gonna say, we're gonna call this user input. And of course I love camel case, so I'm gonna stick with camel case, user input. So now what we're doing is we're saying, enter your name, right? We're displaying it on the screen. We're accepting it from the keyboard. That's what this whole thing does. So it displays a message on the screen, accepts user input from the keyboard, assigns the input to a variable. I can run it again, make sure there are no problems. Oops, the only problems are me typing wrong. Let me uh, fix that. There we go, over here. I have to put something in. Great. Still nothing really happens, but I know it's being saved because I didn't get an error. Right? And then uh, the, my third part, print the variable. So I'm just going to use print the variable. Right? So now when I test it, say enter your name, and my name is B. Oops. Put that over here, B, and it'll print it back out, B. Right? It's the easiest way to get input from a user and make sure we got input. Obviously, there's lots more we can do with that, but that's, that's the easiest way to start.